Welcome to Insoluble, the trick that cannot be explained. Di Vernon's masterpiece has long been the holy grail for many magicians as they try to come up with a way to improve a trick that is pretty much perfect. Now, I'm not saying this is an improvement on the trick that cannot be explained, far from it. It's just a different approach. I think you'll enjoy it. Borrow a deck of cards. You can use anyone's cards. There's no card forcing. And because we're in quarantine at the moment, it's very hard to have a card forced or selected or anything. So I'm gonna mess up the cards as best I can and choose one simply by touching a card at random. You need to trust me, this can be done with any card. The King of Spades. Watch. The King of Spades, there is the prediction in the envelope. We open up the envelope. Inside, we have one card and one card only. The King of Spades. Now here's the touch that I like best because this is insoluble. You place the card back into the envelope and now you can repeat the trick. Choose another card. The three of diamonds in this case. We have a look inside the envelope. Yes, you guessed it. Inside the envelope is one card, the three of diamonds. The envelope is empty, nothing inside. It can be examined. Everything can be examined, it's called insoluble. Now, the explanation. Not quite everything can be examined. The card itself is a little bit special. You probably notice that the card is slightly thicker than a regular playing card. Audiences will not notice this. But before I get into the actual explanation of this, a little history. You see, the, the trick that cannot be explained was created many, many years ago by the great Di Vernon. He used to perform it at Hollywood's Magic Castle every night, over and over and over again. Magicians would come up and say, show us that trick. He would do the trick over and over and over again. They would be blown away. No one had any idea, and Di Vernon couldn't publish it because it wasn't a normal trick. It wasn't the same way twice. It was always different every time he did it. This is why this challenge is so interesting. You see, when Lewis Ganson published the trick that cannot be explained, he didn't publish it with an explanation as such. It was really left up to magicians to come up with their own versions. And there have been many, many great versions. In fact, Boris Wilde has just got a, a wonderful version called Inexplicable, which is fantastic. I recommend you have a look at that. This is different to Inexplicable. The secret, as I said, is not in the envelope, it's not in the cards, but it is in the prediction card. It's a prediction card that you can make. I was going to bring this out during Melbourne Magic Festival, but I've decided because everyone's in lockdown, I would do a little bit of a bonus for everyone and just bring it out now so you can sit down and make it yourself. All you'll need to do is to provide yourself with one deck of cards uh, that you don't need anymore because they're going to be destroyed. And you have to have the ability to split a card. Now, if you've not tried to split a card, I'm going to put a link down the bottom uh, to somebody who will show you how to split a card, a different video, and you can learn how to split a card very easily that way. However, you will also need some glue, two magnets, very small magnets, and I would say sellotape, but not really sellotape. It's, it's more like magic tape. If you don't know what I mean, magic tape is the sort of tape that is uh, clear, but matte, so it doesn't shine. So if you put some magic tape on a card, it won't be seen. So once you've got all those things together, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll uh, clear off this and I'm going to make this along with you. So I'll make the gap along with you. So as I said, all you need to do is get the equipment and sit down. And once we do this,
Hope you enjoy making your, uh, your little card and you'll be able to do this with any uh, card the spectator selects. You, c you can, instead of having a card selected if you want to, you can just have the card name. The spectator can just name a card if they want to. And as we showed you uh, before, it will come right out of the envelope no matter what card it is that they name. For example, if they name the Three of Clubs, it will come straight out as the Three of Clubs. It's fantastic. So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you'll be able to make this, uh, it'll be your, your pet project to keep you occupied during the lockdown to, uh, to make one of these, uh, these cards and have a lot of fun with that as well. I'm sure you can use it for other applications, but for me, this has been my mission to come up with something that would work uh, as my version of Di Vernon's trick that cannot be explained. I hope you enjoyed it.